Today's tutorial is called a foundation tutorial because I'm going to break down how to do a very common transition that's often found in the Become Project routines. So everybody get ready because today we are breaking down plank to lunge. So the transition we're talking about is quite literally going from a plank all the way to a lunge. I sequence this often in Become Project routines and sometimes we start from a down dog or single leg down dog. Now I get this question from people all the time. It's like, how do I get my foot through? And a lot of times the question is surrounding those who have a bigger belly and there's not as much space to be able to pull the foot through. So today, let's talk about some ways that we can help that transition flow a little smoother. And let's talk about what's actually happening dynamically in the body so that we understand what we need to continue to work on. Because I promise with practice, this one does get better. There are two key points that make this exercise work. The first one is called spinal flexion, which is the action of doing this. The second one has to do with lifting the back heels. Now those two things, spinal flexion and foot mobility, those take a lot of time and practice. So it's not just something you wake up one day and the spine is all nice and loose and super mobile and the feet are able to pop up onto high heels. No, you may be tight there. Very similar to your hamstrings, right? If you have tight hamstrings and you stretch them often and you work them the right way, they gain more flexibility and then other moves improve. It's the exact same thing with the spine and feet. And this is where it gets really smart you'll notice that in Become Routines, we practice this all the time, right? Like we're always practicing different cat-cow positions or rounding the spine and moves. We also do a lot of work with high heels. So now the question is, what do we do in the meantime in order to get our foot through? And the answer is a not so pretty transition, <laughs> which is okay, all right? This one doesn't have to look that good. You just round the spine as much as you can, lift the heel as much as you can, and then yank that leg around, hike it around, move the hand out of the way, give a big exhale, maybe a curse word if needed, and that's how you get yourself into the lunge. If the foot falls short, so let's say you bring it in and it only comes to like right here. Notice my knee is over my ankle, so that's not the form we want. Then you need to simply, um, well, you just need to heel toe the foot forward. So start to move the foot. Maybe you place something beside you to help you get there. And then you join us in the lunge. I think what I'm trying to say is like, it doesn't have to be this perfect seamless transition. The more you do it, the better it gets. If you're at home saying, I have an injury that's never gonna work for me, I cannot do it, I want you to try this option. Set your opposite knee down then bring the foot in, then press up to the lunge. And that is a wrap on this one. Let me know if this worked. Let me know how your body is feeling. And then also let me know as this transition continues to improve.